Today, our broadcast begins by announcing the changes that will be taking place in the departmental government cabinet. Official sources stated that the governor in charge, Alan J. Stephens, accepted the resignations of the heads of the mobility portfolio and the communications and press office. Therefore, it is expected that in the next few days, the new people in charge of this position will take office and that they will replace Ms. Biloria and Juan Enrique Archber, respectively. Among the challenges that remain for these portfolios is the monitoring with a magnifying glass that the mobility secretary must do to the forbidden spaces for parking. And that has been a constant problem due to the lack of road culture on the island. In the same way, continuing with initiatives that promote documentation processes and educational spaces to create awareness on the road. For its part, the Press and Communication Office must continue to provide timely information regarding the pandemic, biosafety protocols, and all the processes carried out by the departmental government. Similar information pointed out that the education portfolio headed by Lucida Morelos may also undergo changes. Among the challenges that remain for this portfolio is the new school year that is approaching and also the projects to avoid school dropouts and more after the tragedy caused by Hurricane Iota that totally destroyed the educational spaces in the municipality of Providence. In addition to the virtual classes that may continue this year due to the coronavirus pandemic, this go hand in hand with projects that help guarantee young people the necessary implements to cope with this new year. Tele Islas News will continue to be attentive to the development of this news and to the future possession of the new office secretaries of the departmental government.